hi, second grade friends. I want to go over with you some tools and tricks and review telling time with you. So I'm in learning phase four, second grade packet pages 12 and 13. So we're looking at telling time. Okay, so when we look at telling time, we need to remember that the hour hand is the short hand, the minute hand is the long hand. Okay, I am going to go to that same math website that we went to for a clock or for money, and they have a clocks app on there. I love this website for some hands on practice, it's a life skill for you guys to learn how to tell time on an analog clock that you have to read. The long hand is the minute hand, the short hand is the hour hand, and depending on where they go, what time is it, okay? So I'm going to go down here and choose my clock, gear clock, and then, so we see here we have our clock. Did I make it bigger? Yes, perfect. So I have my long hand, which is the minute hand. My short hand is the hour hand, and I'm actually gonna label that. I want my hand labels. Okay, so the long hand is the minute hand, the short hand is my hour hand. You'll notice as my minute hand moves fast, my hour hand, that short hand, is also moving, but it's moving a lot slower, okay? These big numbers I have around the outside, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, all the way back to 12, are your hours, okay? So when your hour hand is pointing directly to the number and your minute hand is on straight up, it's gonna be on the hour, so it says it's one o'clock. I take my minute hand, go all the way around again, and I look, my hour is two o'clock. My short hand is pointing to the two, my minute hand is pointing up to the 12. I can also click down here on the bottom, digital, and it's gonna give me a digital clock also, okay? All right, so when it gives me that, it won't give me my other, so let me get rid of this. All right, so I am, hold on one second. Let me build that again, because I wanted to show you guys how you can also get, all right, so your minute. So if I click this clock down here again, this pops up. My hand labels, I want those. And you can also click, and we can have the option to have it display our minutes. So we talked about these big black numbers are, are the hours. You see little lines between each one, those are minutes. So this is one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. And you see this five out here? That's telling me that it's been five minutes after the hour. It goes again. Now it is 10 minutes after the hour. I can move it 11, 12. Now it's pointing to 12 minutes after the hour. So this would actually be 12, 12, okay? because it's not to the one yet, but it's past the 12. So it's 12, 12. I keep going, I would say, oh, it's 12, 20. I'm going to make my digital clock up here at the bottom, and it's 12, 20, okay, is the time. You notice as it moves around, that is 12, 30. Even though the hour hand is going towards the one o'clock, it's not that next hour, it's not one o'clock until it passes that and it gets to that 12 again. So watch, I'm gonna make my minute hand go. Now it is 1245. I know that because my hour hand is still between my 11 or my 12 and my one. It's not one o'clock. It can't be one o'clock. So that mini hand goes back up, kind of resets itself on that 60 minute mark at zero. Okay, so now zero minutes have gone by past one o'clock. Does that make sense? So there are 60 minutes in an hour. That's why it goes from five, 10, 15, skip counts by five, all the way around the 60. Between each big number, between each big number on your clock is five minutes, okay? So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, okay? But each hour only goes up by one because that is your hour. Now, what it wants us to do is, on your paper, it gives you a time, okay? So if I look at this blue clock right here, I'm gonna make that time. So that means my short hand is going to be a little bit past the three. Make my minute hand go around. But my minute hand is long hand is pointing to the five. Now I'm gonna look and see what time it is. So I know my minute hand 
is on the, 20, on the five, so 25 minutes have gone by. Look at your hour hand, that's shorthand. It's between the three and the four. It's past the three, but it's not to the four yet. So it's still the hour of three. So it's three o'clock, we know the hour is three, let's see the minutes. So we're gonna count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So it's 325. And that's actually what my digital clock says down here at the bottom. Okay, so that's what you're going to do for some of these math problems. You can pull up this website. Again, it's free, appsmathlearningcenter.org. Great website, lots of tools to help you guys to build numbers, build clocks, build money, and so on. But um, actually, and there's a number line on there too. Um, the next part of this is going to give you a time. So it wants to know what does 725 look like. So they give you your hour hand. And your hour hand is already a little bit past that seven, okay? So your hour hand is already where it needs to be, that short hand. Look at your clock that it says 725. I need to know where do I put that minute hand. So I'm gonna take my minute hand, and remember 25 would be those small numbers along the outside, in the gray area, 25 minutes. So you're gonna take your long hand, and it's gonna point all the way to the number five. So that clock is 725. Okay, use this clock to help you solve um, the next couple problems. Um, there's some problems like soccer practice starts at 3.30, Gabe arrives at practice at 3.20. So does he arrive before or after practice starts? So you're gonna have to look at your clock, build that clock, okay? Put your hour hands and minute hands where they need to be, and then think about what time does it say? Did that time already pass or is it ahead of him? So is he late or is he early? Okay, so um, if you guys need help, please feel free to reach out. Families, practice telling times with your children. If you don't have an analog clock that looks like this in your home um, or something similar, I highly recommend getting one or getting your child a watch um, so they can practice telling time on their own. Um, so if we go out to a store somewhere or they're at a restaurant, um, and then we think long-term too when we're gonna be getting a job. But anyway, so I won't get too much into that. So this is the time, again, the math website, appsmathlearningcenter.org up at the top of your screen. Or you can also find it on our class tag page. Great website for building clocks. The kids can make their own clocks. You can have the digital clock on the bottom or not, it's up to you. Okay, if you need help, please reach out. It looks like the next few problems um, for on the video spot support pages 14 and 15. There are QR codes here that will help you, sorry, that will help you talk you through solving the problem for each one. Um, or you can watch, um, type in that blue website that's there, okay? After that, on pages 16 and on, they are extensions. So these are things you can do with your student um, if you get done or they wanna do a little bit of math work and you don't have anything for them to finish or to do. So don't stress about those. It's great review. The extensions are extra practice, okay? You guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.